Hi hey guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In Genesis chapter 47, we see what a person would give in exchange for their life. Uh, as the famine becomes severe in the land of Egypt, uh, we see that the people spent all their money. They also, when that was all used up, then they also gave all their livestock to Joseph. And then when that was all used up, they even gave their lands and even themselves as slaves to Joseph so that they could survive the famine, so that they could have food to eat and survive. And this shows us how a person would give up everything if they could but save their life and uh, have that restored back to them. And of course, this has allusions to what Christ taught his disciples. He said, what would a man give in exchange for his soul? And certainly we can see that however important it might be to preserve one's own life and even the type of sacrifices a person might make to save their own life here on this earth, how much more so should one be willing to offer up all for their eternal life, for their eternal um, destination? And so as we read about this, we should say, you know, yeah, they made the right choice. Uh, yes, they lost their money, their livestock, their land, and even their freedom, but at least they gained their life. Uh, we could say the same thing is true with Christ. Whatever we might have to sacrifice for the Lord's sake, uh, whatever inconveniences that might cause, uh, whatever it is that might happen to us as a result of our faithfulness to Christ, in the end, we have to say that it's worth it, that it's a good trade, because we not only preserve our lives here on this earth and and that even may not be the case, but we know for sure that we preserve our lives to eternal life and that we will reign with Christ in the new heavens and the new earth. We will enjoy the resurrection uh, that Christ will bring and we will have a eternal bliss in which there is no crying, no weeping, no sickness, uh, none of those things. And we will live with the Lord forever. And so that's a pretty good trade to give up a little bit of perhaps pleasure of this earth to give up a little bit of our own way uh, here while we live in this life so that we can reap a harvest of eternal life. It's a good trade. Uh, the people back then made a good trade with Joseph and we should make a good trade with Christ as well to realize that it is worth it to forsake all for him because he promises us great things in the future. So here's some things we can reflect on and think about as we do a reading today. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.